In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a search box here in Google Sheets. Now, normally when you want to search for something, all you have to do is to go to your keyboard and press the keys Control F and this search tab will appear where you can just type in whatever you want to search and it will be highlighted. Now, did you know that you can also do a search function within your spreadsheet? So start your formula with an equal sign, type in search or select it right here and then put in what you're searching for. Now you're going to put this in quotations because it's going to be a text. Let's say you're looking for someone named James. Closing quotation marks, comma, text to search. Now this will be the range where you want to search this name. Select your range and press enter. Now right now it's not giving you anything. It's giving you an error because it's not finding the name James within Jenny. But if you drag this down, you'll see that there's a value one right here telling you that it has found James in this row. So what we're going to try and do right now is create our own search box with the same function as we did with the control F tool or the search tool. Let's make our own search box right here. You can name this whatever you want. And this will be our search box. So whatever we put in here will be highlighted in our range. So let's make it stand out by changing our fill color into something different. Okay. Now let's select our range where we are going to search. Go to format and select conditional formatting. So right now everything is highlighted because as per the format rules, if the cell is not empty, then the cell will be filled with this color. So everything is highlighted because these cells are not empty. Now our range starts with A1, but that's our header. So we're going to change that into A2 because we don't want to include our header. Now for our format rules, the format rule that we want to apply on our range is not found in this list. So what we're going to do is to create our custom formula. And our custom formula would be using our search function. So let's start with the equal sign. Type in search. Put in your syntax. So our syntax would be, so whatever we put in this cell is what we're searching for. So we'll reference to that cell that would be E2. Let's put that in. Now we want to lock in this range so it doesn't shift to anywhere else. Then continue to what range we're going to be looking for. So our range would be in the first name column and that's column B. But we're going to start with the second row. So B2. And we're going to lock in our column, but not our row because we want it to shift down and search for whatever we're looking for. Close our search formula with the parentheses. Now, if we want this highlighted, if the search function returns a number, we'll just have to put in greater than zero. And there you have it. Now we want a formatting style to be filled with the same color as our search box. So if it finds what we're searching for, it will be highlighted with the same color. And there you have it. So if we click on done and go to our search box and type in a name, let's say James again. If we press enter, we have the name James highlighted right here, not just the B column, but also the A and the C column because that's included in our range. And if we type in another name, let's say Miranda, there we have it. Now, if you want to change the search column, all we have to do is go back to our conditional format right here. So right now it's at B2, which is the first name. So if we change it into the last name, that's the A column. And if you click on done and type in the last name, let's say Miller. It will be highlighted on your range. And that's how to create a search box here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.